Okay, this is glued up. I have the long clamp going across to the other other bout and it's now glued. So now I have to go inside and loosen. to do is I've got to adjust the star handle here on this quarter inch rod, get it out a bit and then push it until I can get this out. And as you can see it's not quite here on this just down from this bridge there's a couple of fine cracks I have to figure out if they go through the soundboard or not have to go further. We have to get this off. There, ta-da! I got it out. Take this piece off. Now I can undo these clamps. I coated these little bolt heads with wax so that, and the bolts themselves, so that they would push out like that. Thankfully, they did. These inner cleats come out. And now,
there's step number one. <clears throat> so these holes are not in the center and because of that when I try to put my drill bit in there it's going to pull them off center and I kind of want them to be centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of dowel and I'm basically going to insert it into the hole and glue it. I'm going to cut it off flush and then I will have something that the drill can ride on instead of trying to get pulled into the hole. So I'm going to cut off a couple of pieces and I will glue those into place. One there and one there. And that'll give me a firm surface. So I have to cut these off fairly square so that <clears throat> they're actually not creating a <clears throat> depression. So I will do that and put them in. Just to make sure that these are square. pretty good. Now that I have those glued in, um, I just got to wait for them to dry. And I should have a surface in here that I can actually ride my drill bit on without causing a ton of damage to, or having it slide off of where I want it to track. So in checking with my bit, I find that it's going to hit the sides before it hits the center spur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of round stock in there to fill that gap. I'm going to be drilling a half inch hole here and a three eighths inch hole there. Because this one I've got to deal with that little wings that are sticking out. So I'm going to take a piece here that I have and pare it down to size and use it to go into this hole. So now that I have these little pieces glued in place, I have something for the center pin to rest on before the spurs hit the outside edge and start cutting and this will allow the bit to stay straight all the way through. This is going to be a half inch and the next one is going to be a, a 3 8 inch one and then I'm going to fill this with a half inch plug and fill that one with a 3 8 inch plug.
Okay, so I've glued in this plug with fish glue, and so I'm going to kind of take off the high things. So I arranged the grain so it's running in the same direction as the wood of the body. fish glue. So I've tested a dye stain on a piece of maple and uh, this is a light yellow maple. It's a water-based stain but I've actually put it into alcohol. When I compare that to the guitar, it's not too bad. It might be a little dark but I don't have to go on that thick. So this has been several coats. So when I took a look at this against the guitar. It actually is fairly close and there's going to be finish on top of that so I think I am willing to try that. Let's all sand it down. Let's see how it goes on. <laughs> 